Kitten season is officially at its peak right now, and although it sounds cute and cuddly, the season can put a strain on local shelters and fosters. NBC 23's Adam Cardona brings us more from the local animal shelters on the season and how us here can help. Kitten season is kind of the term that we throw around in animal welfare around shelters and, and even uh, veterinary clinics, and it's sort of the indicator for when the heavy influx of new litters is you know, being born. Luis Quintanilla is the executive director for the Humane Society of Harlingen. He says although we're currently in kitten season, cats breed in the valley for most of the year. We get a few weeks of breeding space in December and then we're back right at it. With more cats breeding, Quintanilla says one solution is to get cats spayed or neutered, but that's not as easy as it sounds. Part of this entire problem is a lack of access to affordable spay neuter and uh, that's what we're trying to address here. Quintanilla says this is partly due to not having enough vets. He adds taking stray cats to the shelter is not a solution. The shelter is the last ditch effort to try to save an animal, but it begins at home with people fostering. It be begins at home with people, uh, you know, collecting that data so we know where to target. One animal rescue group in Cameron County is also feeling the effects of the kitten season and doing what they can to help. We have over 50 kittens in foster care right now. Some litters, some singles, um, some moms with babies. Wendy Conger is with Donia's Dogs, an animal rescue group that recently started rescuing and helping get cats into homes. She says with the influx, resources are needed such as food and kitten formula, litter, litter boxes, but most importantly, more fosters. I always need more fosters because I don't want to overwhelm the ones we already have. Quintanilla and Conger say if you find stray kittens, leave them in their spot for their mother to come back. Both add that they are available to educate and provide some resources, but say additional help is always needed. It doesn't matter if it's us, a shelter, uh, any other rescue, help them. Um, they all need the same things. They're going to need supplies. They're going to need fosters. There's all kinds of ways you can help you. There doesn't have to be money. Just volunteering a little bit of your time. Putting local first in Cameron County, I'm Adam Cardona.